Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be going over node middleware and what it is and how we could use it in our code. So first I want to go over the request and response cycle. With node applications, you have a client, which is typically a browser, and it'll send a request to the server to slash post, for example. And the server will do some database lookups or some sort of processing and then return a response, which could be an array of posts. So what is middleware? Well, middleware is any code that runs in between the request and response. So the request will come in and it'll go to the first piece of middleware we define and then go to the next and so on and so forth. So in Express, we can define middleware by calling the use method. And if we don't pass in a path like we did here, then this middleware will run on all requests and then it'll go on to the next piece. And you can see here that our route controllers are actually technically middleware too, because they run in between the request and response. And in the controllers, you typically do send the response and then Express would no longer continue in the stack. But say we don't send a response and we throw an error, then Express will finish running the handler, throw the error, and then come down to the next piece of middleware. And in here, we could catch the error and do some sort of processing and return a response. So some use cases for middleware are things like logging or request validation. And it's super helpful because if a request comes in and in our first piece of middleware, we want to validate that the request is formatted exactly how we want it. Um, if it's not formatted, formatted correctly, then we could just return the response right away and we never even continue on to the controller. So then when we get to the controller, we can know that the request is valid and it has all the properties that we expect because it passed all of our middleware. So let's go back in our app and create our first middleware. So right now we just have one route defined and a handler for it, and we don't have any middleware in between. So let's come up here and create our first middleware and we'll call it logger. And remember, middleware is just a function that executes some code. So it's going to be async and we're going to get the request and the response, just like our controller. And in here, we're just going to log the request dot path. And then to use the middleware, we just come in and after we define the path, we paste in the middleware and it goes before our controller. So now if we go to Postman and go to slash users, we hit send and you could see that our request hangs. And the reason for that is because we never called next. And this next parameter is a function that we call and this lets Express know to move on to the next piece of middleware, which in our case is our controller. So remember controllers are middleware, but they're just the last middleware in the stack. So they don't have to call next, they could just return the response. So now if we come in here and we call next, once we're done with our middleware, this request should now work and we get back users. So let's create another function, another middleware, and we'll call it validate user. And this is going to take in the same parameters. And in here, we want to do some basic validation. So we could check the request.headers and we want to check for the authorization header. And if this is undefined, then we want to call the response and we'll just send not authorized. And if they did send an authorization header, then we want to modify the request object. So we'll do request.userID equals one. And then we want to call the next function. So it's going to check for the authorization header. If it's not defined, we actually want to return out of here so that it doesn't go on with the middleware and it doesn't call next. Um, but if they do have that authorization header, we're going to add the user ID to the request and then call next. Then it's going to go to our handler here. And in here, since we've modified that request and set that user ID, we can actually log in here the request.user ID. So if we hit save and we come in here, right now we don't have an authorization token. So we'll hit send and we have to actually use that middleware. And now if we hit send, we could see not authorized. And we never see this user ID because we never got to the handler. We sent back the response before getting to the handler. So now if we come in here and type in a token, we should get our users back. And in here you could see the path and then the user ID. So in our controller, we could have access to 
different properties that we set on the request through our middleware. So that could be super helpful because when we're in, in our controller here, we can know that since the middleware passed, this user ID will always be defined since that's what we're setting. Say we have a bunch of other routes and we want to use this logger on all of them. It'd be kind of annoying to keep passing it through like this. So instead of that, we can define app level middleware that runs on all requests and on all paths. So we can call app.use and in here, we just pass in the logger and now we can just get rid of it from here. So on every request, it's going to look at the middleware you define with use and it's going to run that and then go to the other paths that you defined. So if we go to slash users and send this, we should still see that getting logged. And that's because our logger ran, then went to slash users and called validate user and went on with the request. So in a similar way, we can define middleware that will run for the specified path. So we can do slash posts and let's say we could create middleware that's specific to every um, posts route. So we can just do, I don't know, posts middleware and we'll get our parameters in there. And in here, we just want to log something to the console and then we want to return next. So now everywhere we're getting some error here. Oh yeah. So in here, we need to use that posts middleware. We got to spell it correctly. So now if we hit save, any endpoint that hits slash posts is going to use this middleware. And we haven't actually defined posts down here. So let's just quickly do that. So this is just going to send back a string. So if we go to slash posts and send that, we'll get back posts. And we could see that the post middleware ran. So it went to slash posts and it first checked for all the middleware on this route and it found it here and it ran the post middleware, which logged it called next, which then went down the different paths we defined and saw that we had posts here and then ran the controller. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope it was helpful and that you understand how middleware works now. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed and please subscribe if you haven't already. That would help me out a ton. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.